hi guys welcome back as you can see by the title of the video my hair has been braided for eight days so what I'm gonna show you is to show you the curls that I have after it been braided for eight days straight and before I do that I'm gonna apply my scalp care peppermint oil just to help with this you know easy takedown so you could see this luscious curls okay guys so I want you to sit and just enjoy. Okay guys, so now that I finally undo all my braids, as you could see, I just want you to take a moment and take a look at all that curls look at that take a look at that um the volume like i said it has been braided for eight days i did my wash braided up didn't bother to take the braids down so i let it linger for eight days so i decided to take it down look at that guys as you could tell i'm feeling myself you see that take a look there you go i am loving these curls usually these curls last me for good couple of days what i do i'll just put my bonnet on go to bed wake up in the morning just shake and go so as you can see i'm giving you a full 360 view that curls guys look at that oh i am definitely feeling myself but yeah i am loving these curls look at that guys just take a look at it Okay guys, so here what I'm going to do is show a couple styles that I have. I mean, after having these lovely curls, why let it go to waste? Why not just put it to use and just give you guys a show here? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a few Bantu knots in the front and then have the back of it let down. But here it's related to has bantu knots but a lot of my jamaicans i'm sure you can relate back home it's called chiny bumps you know back home as a little girl you got your hair freshly washed and then you do small sections and you have your chiny bump but then you would do the full head and i'm sure a lot of you guys can relate but if you can relate by all means go ahead Comment down below and let me know, do you used to wear these back home or do you still do? Or do you put it in your child's hair now that you're living in the States? But I've always liked to see it. It's neat. You know, back home, we wouldn't wear these to school or anything. It's usually at home. When you do it, you take it out and your hair is so curly but i can't recall anyone used to wear this going to school if you do by all means comment and let me know but here is a big fashion where they would have all these bantu knots in their hair and it's such a fashion statement and i just love it so i decided that you know i am gonna go ahead and try that um yeah i'm gonna let you guys see how it looks here but like I said go ahead comment down below if you if you have a little girl do you wash your hair and put what we call back home chiny bumps or you don't do it at all comment down below and let me know
so guys i am finished with um all the bantu knots i'm gonna go ahead and let the back of my hair down remove the rubber band just give it a shake and just um let it down so here's the finished look let me know what you guys think so i actually have six bantu knots in the top i gotta fix that one because it's coming a little bit loose but yeah as you can see it's just a twist in effect and then just um twirl it around and there i am shaking the back of it like having these curls you can it's very flexible you can style it however you want look at me just feeling myself yeah so let me know do you like it um comment down below i am really really liking this style right here so i think at this point i'm looking for my herrings i have a few herrings that i'm gonna um apply just to like you know give it a real nice look so they are wooden african herrings i really like them so i'm gonna apply it and of course you can accessorize however you like whether you like the however you like to accessorize go ahead and just apply whichever way you like it but here this is what i'm gonna apply to give it that look it's like a state i would say a statement statement piece there it is all together i'm really liking it i don't know guys comment down below <laughs> let me know what you think giving you a 360 look you see those curls in the back i am really really liking it okay guys so what i have here is a spiral lock hair tie that I purchased on Amazon it was $15.49 I saw it and I said let me go ahead and try it out um, to see how it works they have multiple colors so I decided to go with the black just to be on the safe side it's very flexible as you can see as I'm showing you demonstrating it right there right now you can it's you can fix it in any direction that you would like to so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and take these bantu knots down and then I'm gonna show you guys how I actually use it in my hair and guys this is the first time I'm actually using it I was just on Amazon just browsing and I came this just popped up and I said oh let me give this a try and see how I can use it in my hair so being that I got it I said why not share it with you guys I'm sure plenty of you probably know about it or probably have it. Just comment down below. Let me know. How did you get yours? How did you find out about yours? I was just browsing and I saw it and I decided to give it a try. So here I'm going to show you how I actually use it. So here I'm going to use it. Um, if you have really thick locks, this would be perfect for you as well. It's very long. Um, it's you, if your locks is really thick, you could definitely, um, use it as a hair tie, low ponytail, high ponytail. Men can also use it as well. So if you have the traditional thick locks, this will be great. Instead of trying to use a rubber band, like I do a lot of the times to try to hold your hair together, this would be perfect. So you could go ahead and give it a try. I will put the link down below. So you, if you're interested and would like to buy it, then you know you'll be able to reach it. But this is this is really perfect. You could do a low bun, high bun. If you're if you have thin locks, thick locks, 
this would definitely do the job. And guys, by the way, this is 25 inches long. So like I said before, if you have really long locks, really thick locks, thin locks, this could definitely do the job for you. So far, I like it. You can give it a try. If you like to use the rubber bands where they will just leave you hanging all the time, where they will just pop open while you're there, by all means. But this is just a suggestion. You could give it a try. And if you do, if you do have it, let me know. Comment down below and let me know. Okay guys, this is where I'm going to go ahead and end the video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye!